How to dress for winter motorbike riding. Here is a guide about what to wear during the winter when riding a motorbike. It is not about the cost but more about the function of the item as paying more is not always the answer. Being comfortable on your bike makes you a safer rider. If you want to concentrate on riding in potentially tricky winter weather like snow, ice, fog, etc., etc. instead of feeling cold and miserable, read on from step 1 below to know how to dress for winter biking. Steps 1. Check to see if your helmet has good winter features. Look online to find if your helmet visor can be replaced for one that has pin lock. Pin lock is two pins on a visor and an insert that clips in. If you buy an insert from a shop they will often fit it for you. The insert prevents the visor fogging up. Helmets with more padding and removable liners are warmer and will last longer. Check that the helmet fits well. Spend plenty of time trying on different helmets as different brands size up different. It might sound silly be even the way your hair is styled can affect your helmet's fit. 2. Consider getting a better, padded helmet. Some cheaper helmets lack on padding meaning, they have too many gaps for wind flow. Whilst a Rai and Shoei are nice. They are expensive and other brands do a similar job. For example, Armada. Find a store that sells big helmets and try on different helmets. Different helmet brands come up different sizes. As an example, someone could be an XL in a Shoei but in a Caberg, they could be an XXL. Try on all the helmets you can. Don't rush. If you intend to keep the helmet for some time, then removable pads are a serious consideration. 3. Get a pinlock visor for your helmet. If they don't have a pinlock visor, consider getting a new helmet. A pinlock visor is a visor with two plastic pins. Then, you buy an insert that goes between the pins. A motorbike shop will often fit for you. The insert can last a long time and will cost £20 to replace. Once installed properly, it is impossible to fog your visor at all even held over steam. In the winter, a pinlock visor keeps your visor clear and you don't have to open the visor to clear it. Nearly, all pinlock visors do not come with an insert, so check to make sure. 4. Consider a balaclava. Whilst not everyone likes them, a good balaclava will retain heat and block the cold. Knox Hot Hood is thin but very warm water-resistant and windproof one that is worth a look. Some shops will let you try them on and if so be sure to try it with your helmet on. 5. Buy a suitable jacket. Price is not the main point on a waterproof jacket as even expensive ones can leak. A jacket gloves and trousers are the three important elements so do your research. Look for one with a removable winter liner and vent zips. This will make a jacket an all-year jacket and will save you buying two jackets. Many jackets get heavy when wet no matter the price. Exceptions are pro-layer Gore-Tex which are bonded on the outside however they can be expensive but work great. When it comes to brand Google the specific model you're looking at and check all the reviews. Not all jackets are waterproof even the ones that claim they are. Take a phone with you to the store to read reviews as good stores carry lots of items. Deciding a budget in advance will help you narrow the field. Make sure you can move comfortably in your jacket. Don't put looks before safety either. 6. Check out some thermals. Thermals add an important layer and retain much more heat than say a jumper plus they are a lot thinner and are a must for cold riding. Any thermals will make a massive difference to the cold, price may not be a factor. 7. Consider over trousers. If you wear proper motorbike trousers you will find many leaks straight away or over time. A top layer is a fraction of the cost and protects the expensive gear underneath. That said even a lot of over trousers leak ones to avoid are cheap walking ones. Flexothane trousers are very waterproof and also come as dungarees. Get waterproof trousers. Don't get bike trousers or over trousers because they leak. Try Flexothane Classic Hi-Vise Trousers 15 pounds, or Flexothane Navy Bib and Braces neither will leak. The Hi-Vise ones are bright orange, great for being seen early winter mornings. 8. Decide whether to winter glove or to not winter glove. Most gloves don't do it all. The best dry and warm option is muffs however they don't look great but they will protect you no matter what. 
Most gloves get heavy when wet and take a long time to dry out. Look for gloves where the waterproof layer is bonded to the outside like Knox and you will find they stay dry a lot better. When shopping for winter gloves consider buying merino wool liners first and then try the gloves on over the liners to make sure they will fit. 9. Find boots that don't leak. Various boots regardless of the cost still end up leaking. You need to check lots of reviews to find ones that don't. Again don't trust that they say they are waterproof. Dunlop riggers work well and are very cheap. Test your boots in a bath as some can be faulty. 10. Buy a power bank. Whilst it is not clothing it is a super important item to carry in the winter and pretty useful most of the year. Winter weather is often nasty cold and sometimes dark and your phone is always charged right up till the moment you break down then it's completely dead just when you need it the most. Whichever one you buy take it to the pound store and buy a click lid food container and USB lead if REQ. Put sponge in any leftover gap to pat it out. Charge it up chuck it in the box and put it under your seat or back box and forget about it. The other option which is better but more bulky is a wind-up charger type as it can never go flat but again protect it in something to stop it getting wrecked. 11. Consider heated clothing. Riding around in your own personal, portable electric blanket certainly takes the chill out of winter riding. Research these products carefully and get advice to make sure anything you're considering will suit all your needs. Some small bikes may have an issue running heated items including grips so check first before you consider it. Cutting into electrics should not be considered unless you know what you're doing, if in doubt pay for it to be fitted. Heated gear can be expensive but will deal with extreme weather. Step 12, hashtag buy a over jacket, rain jacket or work jacket. The extra layer stops the wind sucking heat away provides a extra heat layer and best of all makes any jacket totally waterproof. A over jacket and a cheap motorbike jacket combined is very waterproof. Motorbike shops do small thin ones but a high-vis work jacket is around the same price from Sports Direct and comes in very big sizes and should be tried on over your jacket. Work jackets are bright yellow with reflective strips and come bomber or parka style so can be matched with a short or long motorbike jacket. Work jackets are lined so you won't need thermals and are a good solution when moving into heated locations as you can remove it easy unlike thermals the above steps will cover you through the worst. If you're cold after that it means it's snowing and you should consider leaving the bike at home. Tips In an emergency, make a hole in the heel of a pair of sports or thermal socks and pull them over your gloves poking the thumb out the hole this will make a noticeable difference in very cold weather if caught out in freezing weather put newspaper in your clothes to add layers and trap heat use water repellent spray on your visor to keep it clear. Warnings Waterproof jackets do not stay waterproof forever, when they give up treat them with tech wash from Black's outdoor stores to make them waterproof again when it snows stop riding and get the bus. In the UK the snow is not enough to use spikes. I have ridden in the snow and you will drop your bike at best but could get run over instead it's really not worth it. Socks on gloves work like mitts but they may take getting used to.